Okay, I'm start recording again. Remember that we have this railing, this cap to protect this space against the water, water uh, down and out as always. We have these operable louvers. Uh, we can rotate those louvers and just uh, close this gap or let the air in. And finally, we need the blind, uh, oh, we don't have it here. Okay, remember that we are following uh, this example and we are trying to do these blinds or these uh, operable aluminum louvers again so that in summer uh, we can protect uh, this against the sun. Uh, we're going to do the summer version. In the winter, uh, everything will be up here, but in summer, uh, all these elements will be down so that they can cast uh, shadows on on that interior element. So I'm going to place it here. First, the railing, component, modeling place, railing. Okay. Uh, set on grid three, extrusion. And I was going to, yeah, we can place it here. This, then the offset, it has to be half inch. And this, now I needed a circle. I moved the circle down. And, and now we needed the loopers itself that I was working with this uh, arch. Um, something like this. Move down. This is probably too big, so I'm going to make it slightly shorter. Then the offset, half inch, and this curved shape like this, and like this. And now I want to copy this many times. Copy. Uh, two inches, let's say five inches. Okay, now I click OK. I go to the 3D view again. And now there you go. Finish model. I'm going to save my file. Great. And wow, that's looking great. Okay, so here we have a lot of uh, uh, details. And um, yeah, I think that's getting better because we are adding a lot of details and a lot of uh, information. 
So we can uh, do this and now we can copy. Strain. Okay, so we're almost there with this detail and uh, probably we have to copy this now uh, downwards. Let me see in section uh, one what it looks like. Yeah, probably we need to hang all these elements. We copy this from the frame that we have on level 15. We move it down and we hang it here. And now I select this and move it to the Select this. And move it there. Okay. Uh, so now we have a lot of things here. We have uh, the double skin structurally. It's feasible because everything is connected. The indoor, the the the, the first layer of uh, curtain walls is connected to the structural uh, skeleton of the building. Then we have a connection between the this first curtain wall and the second curtain wall uh, through this uh, frame. Uh, we have protected this gap from the rain uh, with this uh, element. We can control the air that it's uh, coming in or uh, going out uh, from this air gap uh, with these uh, movable loopers here. And finally, uh, we can control the amount of light that we have inside this space just by uh, uh, working with these uh, lookers. Okay. And at the same time, uh, I have all that stuff that I did before. Okay. So we have all these uh, elements. Uh, so with this section, I can uh, show um, all this all this stuff we have here. Okay, uh, there will be an air inlet in this direction. Then there will be an air outlet in that direction, and then we have shade because of these uh, elements here. And this is just the image of the of the building. It's something that we wanted to do because we consider this nice. But uh, now the detail is solved from many point of views: the uh, structural, the water protection, uh, even the thermal point of view. This uh, double skin now it works because in winter we can move all these elements up so that all, all the sun is entering the building. In summer, we can move all these elements down so that we have shade and the sun is not entering uh, this. If we move to this section, well, it's up to us. Of course, the more uh, details we have, the better the section will be. Here we have more details and probably, I don't know, but this is up to you. If you want to uh, give this section with all these details here, uh, that's fine. Mm, probably it's not necessary, and we need this uh, when we're analyzing this section, and especially when we, uh, when we're uh, analyzing uh, the callouts. Okay, are we done? Uh, no, because uh, we can still uh, work with callouts here. So at this level, at the three D level, uh, this is more than enough. Okay, so if you show uh, a building with a facade like this, maybe the building is not uh, outstanding. It's not a great project, 
but because of all the details that we have done here, uh, it will look uh, it looks nice just because of the of the details. And if we are able to uh, cast uh, nice shadows here and work with the correct uh, sun settings and sun path. Okay, if we move it here. Okay, so if the sun is there and if we create a perspective view, yeah, we can have all these nice effects uh, inside uh, because of all these uh, louvers. Okay, so every uh, single detail that we are doing, it affects uh, positively the, uh, the building itself because it makes just casting shadows with all these louvers, it's something better than we originally uh, had with uh, without the louvers. If on the other hand, what we want, our goal is to have this without any sunlight, uh, we can do that. So we can see that uh, at this angle, this angle and this uh, louvers, uh, we do have, uh, Okay, so this can be nice in some spaces in the basketball court. I don't think it makes any sense because that will affect the performance of the of the players. Okay, having uh, so you can adapt. If you don't want this to happen, you can adapt the distance of the louvers, and then you can cast shadows. And when we have a complete shadow here, uh, this is what you are looking for. Okay, so we can use this too. Uh, when it comes to design, uh, having this kind of this contrast between light and, and shade. It's nice, but uh, if you want, okay, what's the use of this building? If this was like a restaurant or something like that, that would be great, but, or a library, but if we're working out of a sport court, uh, this doesn't make sense. So probably we can control uh, the distance between louvers so that here we don't have any, any sun, okay? But anyway, uh, there are a lot of uh, options here. And uh, the more details, the, the better, okay? So spending some time, and it's not that much. We have spent hours, two hours uh, doing this. Now, we, once uh, we have decided this and we like it, uh, we can copy, and then we have all the, all the facade solved uh, with the same uh, criteria. But all those effects that we have, all these shadows, uh, casting on louvers that that that's what makes a, a project uh, something nice even if the project is a shoe box okay? because this is what we are designing here a shoe box with structure but if you look at uh, sports facilities they have to be shoe box uh, with a structure with exposed uh, structure so this is what the sports uh, facility is there are other buildings like for example airports This is uh, the airport in, in Madrid. It was extremely expensive at the time. And uh, I think uh, we're still paying for it. Uh, but what is this? It's just a structure and a curtain wall. Okay, so uh, this kind of, uh, when we have uh, sports facilities, industrial building, airports, uh, we have just a structure. We have to decide a module, then we repeat that module. And then by repeating this module, yeah, you can add colors and that's nice, but uh, that's another way to uh, design uh, buildings. And it's a very effective way because you just have to design a module. Okay, so this is the, the airport itself. And if you solve what's going on between these two structural elements, then just by repeating it, uh, you have a, a, a nice building. And there are a lot of, uh, uh, buildings uh, like this and here then we can start adding uh, 
structural schematic views, or we can try to analyze the thermal performance of, uh, of the building. But the first decision is just uh, define a module, uh, create a nice structure, a uh, nice uh, curtain wall, and uh, we are done. Yes, here we have louvers. Every time we have a huge curtain wall, we need to protect this. So having an overhang, it's a good idea. And then if it's not enough, we can always add those louvers uh, to protect uh, the, the first skin against the, the sun. So this is what we have tried uh, to do here. Okay, what's next? And uh, now you have to uh, complete this. You have this option, you have this uh, facade with different uh, elements. You have this option and uh, you have the whole building. And now you have to create the, uh, and uh, well, and we have the other uh, louvers, the wood louvers that we had in the other facade. With these three elements, this wall with different layers and aluminum panels as an outdoor finish, uh, this double scheme with all these elements, something to protect the this gap against the rain, louvers to protect it against the sun. Uh, structure, it's structurally feasible because both uh, layers of curtain walls are connected. And even we have this element to walk through this gap for maintenance. Uh, so with these three elements, uh, you have to uh, finalize the, the building. Don't go crazy, just uh, combine uh, these elements uh, in a nice way. And we are done with the design of the building. Okay, so remember that uh, we have this, we have created this overhang to protect this. If you think that you should uh, protect this with uh, louvers, this curved uh, curtain walls, we can do it, why not? Uh, or if you want to leave it uh, that way, uh, that's uh, that's up to that's up to you. Uh, but just combining this and this, uh, just try to create the rest of the elevation. And uh, and once we have done that, then you have to uh, create this section. And. Uh, that would be the, the cover page because with this, you are showing a lot of things. You're showing the structural, the structure of the building. You're showing the facades. You're showing a lot of things with, uh, with this section and it can be used as a cover page. 